everybody, it's Pat Gillis here. And uh, you know, one of the questions that I get asked really often, especially with people um, who are just kind of getting interested in horses or just uh, learning about horses, is they'll always ask, always ask me, how, how long do horses live? And it's a, it's a funny question because there's um, so many different factors that it's hard to give like a, a straight sort of answer for that. Like I, you know, one of the factors is that horses are very expensive to maintain. And so a lot of people make a decision based on practical purposes when a horse can no longer, you know, do the job that we ask of him. I've been very fortunate in my life that I've never been forced into making a decision based on those things, but it, it does happen, right? Um, and then another way to look at it, I once had a veterinarian uh, tell me, this was years ago, and he said, uh, God gives every single horse so many kilometers or miles for you guys. <laughs> anyway, God gives you so many miles and uh, you never really know what that number is. And so it's just always a question of when does the horse use them up? And, you know, and that kind of rings really true with me because every now and again, you'll hear, of, you know, a young horse that's hardly done any real work being crippled lame and then you'll see some older horse that you know has really hard miles on him and he's still going strong you know um, it, it's a pretty good explanation for that um, the one thing I do know is that the horse in the wild a wild horse the, the life expectancy the average life expectancy is eight years so you know that's always a good statistic to keep in your back pocket if you run into someone who thinks that horses should just be left alone and that we shouldn't ride them or anything um, you know, we do pretty good now with uh, all the science and stuff of uh, maintaining uh, horses' lives well into their 20s or late 20s, you know. So uh, I guess the question is, is hard to answer, but the one answer that for sure is that we know is that they don't live forever. And in nature, you know, nature takes its course. And in as we take over the stewardship of horses, we kind of take over the role that nature plays too and we have to sometimes make decisions. And as you know, uh, one of the decisions we've been trying to make has been about Dex. Um, and today he made the decision for us. So I'm a little bit ashamed that I didn't uh, follow my own policy. You know, it's like Shakespeare says, better three hours too early than a minute too late. Um, and I just couldn't, I couldn't make the call, which is... Uh, you know, not, I'm not terribly proud of that, but anyway, here, that's what it is. And so today he came in, um, with another mild choke, but w this one he couldn't resolve. Um, the saving grace is that it was mild, um, and that he wasn't suffering, but, uh, I guess he couldn't be any clearer in telling me it was time to go. So he was a great horse. I'm going to miss him terribly. And that's all I got for you this week. Remember to thank your horse.